what point did you realize that your relationship wasn't going to work out? When I walked in and saw her sucking a dick at the car. <sighs> Uh, we shared our location each other. Then, when you checked her location, did it say uh, she is currently at a place sucking d you knew? Yeah. No, no, no. She was at the place. That's like... So you went there. You saw her, you know, getting down on dude. Was she going crazy? Or... No, I'm playing. But, uh... <laughs> wait, so what happened after? <laughs> I, I called her out. She came outside. I didn't let her say shit. I spit on her face. And I left. Damn. So you was the only person that didn't get spit on because she was... <laughs> Relationships are just not lasting anymore, fellas. God damn, relationships are just not lasting. And, and am I right about this or am I wrong? And at the same time, traditionals. You guys want this traditional relationship. You guys want these traditional settings. Sharing locations and shit like that. What you expect? You end up um, finding out. You What you expect, bro? You expect, you know what I mean? I don't get it, man. You fellas act like the the woman belong to you forever. That ain't how that go, man. Once again, what do you expect? With all due respect, fellas, I don't want you guys to think that, damn, man, so there's no hope for relationship. Fellas, a relationship is what you make it. Yeah, remember, it's what you make it. You could carve a relationship out exactly like how you make it's like Mr. Potato. Mr. Mr. Potato Head, you can put that motherfucker together how you want to. The lead front, the up front lead, the root to this shit, you know, what shapes and mold it, is masculinity and knowing who you are. Wrist, elbows, knees, feet, shin, and everything to the back of the neck, holding down, locking it down, submerging it down to the game. Please like, share it. And subscribe, hit the notification bell, fellas. Soon I'm done with these videos, you're gonna get it piping hot status down your phone, ear, or your candy game. You're gonna get that. A video for education purposes only, fair use home. Go to my bow section, you know how to get at me. Everything's in the description. I'm putting the description on my, you know, Gmail, Patreon, Cash App. So you can support the channel, phone number, everything's there. Social media, everything's there. Video for education purposes only, fair use only, once again. Let's get to this. As you see in this interview, the guy said he shared a location with this woman. He ended up pulling up on her due to the location, whatever site she, you know, wherever she was at. And he caught her topping the motherfucker off. Giving him some of that brain. She was actually feeding dude that thought process, you know, through her mouth. <laughs> she, Worked that motherfucker real well. And shout out to Seth for the P, man. He rest in peace, man. That dude, hey, he has some entertaining points, man. You know, once again, whatever went on in his personal life, I don't know about it. You know, I don't knock nobody. I don't, I don't know if I don't know your business. I ain't involved in it. You ain't told it to me. Didn't ain't for me to spill it. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, but um, he called it that Maytag mouth. She got that, um, that frigid there, that GE. She got that wash machine mouth, you know, she in the car, topping homie off, making him squirt everywhere. And then, you know, go back and kiss him, the guy who's sharing locations. Because if you're sharing locations, you're sharing everything. You don't have nothing contained within yourself as a man. You know, you're sharing your money, you're sharing your thoughts, you're sharing uh, resources. You're sharing everything because you figure this is the love of your life. And a lot of you guys get upset because you have, once you find out that you get treated like shit, you get angry, you get upset, you be pissed off, you mad at the world. You know, in many cases, you be mad at yourself. How can I die? I didn't see through this. It's, and then you got guys that continue on getting treated like shit. They drop a chick, move to the next chick, get treated like shit. Drop a chick, move to the next chick, get treated like shit. And it's like a repeated cycle. And that's because you guys don't like to be alone. You guys don't like to get to know yourself. You guys don't like to um, find out who you really are. And once you find out who you really are, you'll know what you can accept and what you can't accept. What you go for, what you ain't going to go for. You know what I'm saying? It's called having standards about yourself. And a lot of you guys don't have that, you know? That's why you settle down real quick with the next chick. You, 
get up uh what they call the over and under game. You get over a bitch by getting up under another bitch. And you find out the situation is the same. You're like, hold up, is this in the drinking water? No, man. It's in you. It's in you. Cause a lot of these things are a lot of these, a lot of this time, a lot of times, fellas, when your woman display like scandalous behaviors, erratic, crazy, and fucked up behaviors, these things were visible in the beginning. You pass it up. You passed all that up, man. Those red, like this motherfucking red sweat. Y'all passed that red flag up like it ain't shit. It's in your face. It flew right over your head. But you pass it up. You, this shit, I ain't, you know, that was the last bitch, man. If I go in this relationship thinking how I thought on this relationship, if I go in this relationship thinking that she's going to be like this, and I'm a, y'all start going around hearing all this fucked up game from a lot of these dudes that don't know what the fuck they talking about, you know? When it ain't you going into the rape relationship thinking that you can't bring this over here, and if you bring this over here, you treat the relationship the same as this, or it'd be worse and no, man. Don't you jump in no motherfucking relationship until you get to know who you are, what you, what you want out of the relationship, how you're going to lead the relationship, how you're going to program this bitch to fit inside your relationship. And then you can get the ball rolling with wanting a relationship. You know, a relationship that fits you because you molded and created this situation to fit you. But a lot of you guys don't know how to do that. You jump out there thinking that all women ain't the same. And when you had that mentality, that's when you already fucked up. Real talk. With all due respect. When you jump out there thinking like that. Dude's crazy, man. I mean, they, man, she did that, man, but not her, man. She ain't like that, man. You know, you, you got to get around, man, and know different and get up on different women. You know, they all be, no, it's in you. So when you come off acting like, oh, man, I don't like women that sleeps around, you know, with a lot of, I don't like women that, you know, have a past and like she, like, like, you know, that she have a past or not like you, like you control what's going on in her past. Like you can mold that shit into your future. That's not going to happen. You don't know this woman before you matter, fellas. And you jump off thinking that shit. You fuck yourself. A lot of guys do that. You overload your ass <laughs> with your mouth. Oh, I don't, you sleeping around, I don't, oh, you like to party? Nah, with all that, you know, with all your friends and all that, and yeah, your friends are hoes, and they gonna get you off into some bullshit, you know, you start running off your brain with some fucked up thought process, and it, it, it's definitely, the thought process be definitely fucked up, real talk, not putting it to, not putting your, um, your membranes, you know, not, not connecting your shit, not putting it to work. You know what I'm saying? Not actually utilizing your brain for what it needs to be utilized for. It's common sense. It's your bitch. If she got to follow up behind friends, if she got to do this and do that behind your back, if she got to sneak on you, then it's your bitch. It ain't the people that entice her to do it or peer, peer pressured her and some No. It's your bitch. That's who she is. Like I said, you didn't program that. You didn't vet it, court it out, however you guys put it. Y'all be hearing different words and shit, man. I call it program. You got to put or put it through the ringer. You know what I'm saying? When we was young, we were like, man, you got to put that bitch through the ringer, man. You got to see what she about. Don't just don't just stamp over it. Don't, don't, don't just stamp that bitch with no title real quick. We used to say that when we was young. Don't just put no boyfriend title. Nah, you want to see what she about, man. You know? But a lot of you youngsters, y'all don't know that, man. You know? You see her, she's thick, she looks nice. You want her, you you get tunnel vision and you develop one-itis. And you put everything into this. You put everything into her because this is who you wanted. It's who you wanted. You didn't let the game shift your way. Because if you let the game shift in your way and shift in your direction, you wouldn't just jump down on that like that. No, hell no. You'll pay attention to it more. And you'll cut the shit off when it ain't fitting you. And you'll pay attention to another chick and you'll pick her on up because she's fitting you. She's showing that she's cooperative or uh, compliant or whatnot. And you can yeah, let the game shift it your way, man. That's real talk. 
Or otherwise, you're going to be like this dude, sharing vocation, sharing resources, putting your all into a bitch, everything, and putting hatching all your eggs in one basket. Now you and your feelings got to spit in her face, got to tear up cars and act that ass and embarrass yourself because you call her eating up a dick. That's who you made your woman. Stop making these women your woman fast, fellas. Stop stamping them with that title of a pool. Stop that shit. And feel that motherfucker out. You dig? And keep fucking with other women. Stop, man. Just, just keep going. Quit having that one night and shit, then you won't get wrapped up in this. Like these videos, share them, and subscribe. Y'all already know it's a message, baby. Holla.